For the clays and the rocks, we've developed uh, two apparatus. One we call the RITA, the Rotating Erosion Rate Apparatus, and one we call the SURF, the uh, Scour Erosion Rate Flume. Those apparatus take soil samples, both clays and rock samples, and we measure the rate at which the soil erodes as a function of the speed of the water flowing over it. Those two apparatus then provide us information that allow us then to predict what the total erosion or total scour is going to be over the life of the bridge. The control box monitors both torque. For the majority of materials we've tested to date, there is no erosion. The erosion is so small that we're talking about maybe half an inch over 100 years. The example was they were going to have to retrofit a, a bridge because they were worried about erosion. We took some cores, we ran the test, and we told them that it would not erode, and then we saved $1.5 million on not just one small bridge. The primary reason for being here in Gainesville today is to have some interaction with the Department of Transportation and the University of Florida people and ocean engineering because of the equipment that they developed to deal with uh, assessing the rate at which materials erode. The RETA device, the rock erosion test apparatus, is here at this state materials office facility. And I understand the, uh, the SURF, the soil erosion flume apparatus, is located at the University of Florida, and so we're going to look at that later today. And it's going back into the receiving tank. There was a team here from California, and we shared with them the techniques we use and uh, our apparatus we use to determine the scour depths. And this was uh, initiated by the Florida DOT and uh, is, is very good. We started out with the sandy soils and we did a number of experiments uh, both here at the University of Florida and in other labs around the world. Because we can say that this material will erode or will not erode and if it does not erode then we can make the pilings and the foundations much smaller than typically is done in, uh, currently. The results of those tests then allowed us to develop predictive equations for estimating these uh, design scour depths. In Florida alone, we've saved uh, millions of dollars in taxpayer money in making these uh, equations less conservative than the ones that were there before we started this research.